Not bad. Where'd you get those gaming skills? YouTube. <laughs>First of all, let me just thank you for clicking on this video with Call of Duty in the title. It's probably fair to assume that most of the people who are watching this don't really care about Call of Duty. Seems like it's more of a jumping pasta turbo crowd. It's just who we are. But I think what's happening right now with Call of Duty is interesting and funny. So I'm going to try to communicate that to you today, hopefully with Sakurai-like brevity. So take a look at this first. This is a gamesindustry.biz article. PlayStation. Xbox's Call of Duty offer was inadequate on many levels. So here, Jim Ryan, the CEO of PlayStation, sent Games Industry an exclusive statement that says, I hadn't intended to comment on what I understood to be a private business discussion but I feel the need to set the record straight because Phil Spencer brought this into the public forum. This is already highly unusual corporate pettiness, personal at this point. He did not need to call out Phil Spencer like that. And again, this is just a statement. It wasn't an interview. So we have to assume when he's talking about Phil Spencer here, he's talking about this recent article on The Verge, in which Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer exclusively submitted a statement which said, In January, we provided a signed agreement to Sony to guarantee Call of Duty on PlayStation with feature and content parity for at least several more years beyond the current Sony contract, an offer that goes well beyond typical gaming industry agreements. So it seems like if you're a CEO, you can just send statements to websites and they have to write an article about it. What else are they going to do? But you might be wondering, after hearing that, why would Phil Spencer just send an email to The Verge about Call of Duty for no reason? What would even provoke that? So at the core of this, the reason these statements are flying about is that Microsoft doesn't own Activision Blizzard yet. It feels like it's old news, but this, this deal is historical. It's gargantuan. Apparently it won't be finalized until next summer. So in the meantime, there are these regulatory organizations from several different countries that Microsoft has to prove to them that owning Activision Blizzard will not provide an unfair advantage in the video games market. And the day before Phil Spencer's statement to The Verge, the UK regulatory organization, the Competition and Markets Authority, they released a statement saying, we don't know about this. This kind of actually does seem unfair if Microsoft owns Activision Blizzard. It could be unfair to PlayStation. It could be unfair to cloud gaming services. We're gonna have to take a look into this. So Phil Spencer, that same day that that report comes out, makes this long, boring blog post titled Gaming for Everyone, Everywhere. Our view on the Activision Blizzard acquisition. But apparently that blog post wasn't enough for him. The day after that is when this Verge statement appeared to clearly state to all regulators, look, we're public, we're out here in the open, Call of Duty, will not be exclusive for now. Gaming's for everyone. Hope we're cool. And that is what got Jim Ryan upset. That's what he thought was private. So let's go back to his statement. Microsoft has only offered for Call of Duty to remain on PlayStation for three years after the current agreement between Activision and Sony ends. So let's stop there for a second again. So what is that current agreement? not stated. Again, these are just statements. We can assume, rumor has it, games industry is willing to suggest that it's three games that is the current agreement. Bloomberg back in February reported on this. If we're to trust Jason Schreier's reporting, and you know that I do, we've got, of course, Modern Warfare 2 in 2022. Next year, apparently, is going to be Warzone 2, sequel to their free-to-play battle royale. And then the main focus of that Bloomberg report was that 2023 will not feature a mainline Call of Duty game, 
which is something they never do. Take a year off? That's crazy. So we have to presume that Treyarch's next mainline Call of Duty game will be 2024. So when Jim Ryan says only three years, we're talking about 2025, 2026, and 2027. So what we're talking about right now, the inadequacy is that 2028 potentially could be a year where PlayStation is not guaranteed a Call of Duty game. Back to the statement. After almost 20 years of Call of Duty on PlayStation, we could stop there because you might be like me in thinking, buddy, 20 years? And it's not, it's not 20 years. So it's Call of Duty 2, big red one, is the first Call of Duty on any PlayStation. It's on PlayStation 2 in 2005. So no, we're talking about 17 years here, which is still, it's still way more than I expected, but it's not almost 20, it's more than 15. Just say more than 15. That's more impactful. More than 15 years of Call of Duty. Anyway, their proposal was inadequate on many levels and failed to take account of the impact on our gamers. We want to guarantee PlayStation gamers continue to have the highest quality Call of Duty experience. And Microsoft's proposal undermines this principle. And so, what's funny about all of this is that it's just a silly game. It's just two CEOs locked into a statement slinging duel that they, they have to play, they are obligated to play, as leaders of their businesses. Obviously, obviously, Microsoft would love for Call of Duty, the annually best-selling video game, to be exclusive to its platforms. To be exclusively not on PlayStation. They would love that, but they can't say that out loud while these regulatory organizations are watching them. So Games Industry even pointed this out really well. The specific commitment for years of PlayStation support is notable, as when Xbox acquired Bethesda in 2020, Spencer was quick to reassure people that the move wasn't to make games exclusive. However, the week after the Bethesda acquisition was finalized, Spencer was taking a different tone, saying, if you're an Xbox customer, the thing I want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you that ship on platforms where Game Pass exists. And then yeah, Starfield is not going to end up on PlayStation. That is exclusive. And Sony knows this. They know now's their chance. They know now they have to make a hubbub. They have to wag their tongues out there while there is still regulatory oversight. They have to get Microsoft to promise as many years of Activision games as possible. Because it'll go away. The deal will go through, most likely. Even if it takes until summer 2023, the deal will probably proceed. And so now's the time. Now's the time where we got Jim Ryan out here trying to grasp at as much Call of Duty as possible before the ink dries. And so, to jumping pasta turbo fans, who don't really care either way, they're just putting on a funny show for us. A sad, goofy, funny show. Which is not unlike delayed input. Thanks for watching. So last week I talked a bit about how impressed I was by the graphical presentation of Masahiro Sakurai's YouTube videos, and then I saw this comment. Just wanted to add that some of the graphics Sakurai is using comes from a free image bank called Irasutoya. You too can have his slick graphics. And so I went to irasutoya.com, and yeah, free illustrations. Look at these. However, free does come with limitations. Here they are as translated by Google. Use of the illustrations on this site is prohibited in the following cases. Use of purposes contrary to public order and morals, offensive, discriminatory, sexual, or extreme use that damages the image of the material, use related to antisocial forces and illegal activities, redistribution and sale of the materials themselves as content and products. That one makes sense. And then finally, if the author deems it inappropriate. Now we all know my stuff usually deals with material 
that is contrary to public order. And that a lot of it deals with antisocial forces. And I don't know this author, but it's easy to presume that there's some part of my whole deal that they might find inappropriate. What do you think, Sweetie Q, the Baby Seal news reporter? This just in. Recycling is an absolute sham. No, 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 no. Sweetie Q. Mm -mm. This just in. Most of the kinds of people who go to concerts are annoying to be around. Sweetie Q!